Another week of NFL football. Another week of picks. Another week we get, well, ever so closer to handicappers of the month. A couple of upsets yesterday. It's interesting to see, though. <clears throat> a lot of guys, a lot of action. Came back to bite some. But it's also interesting to see hockey mixed in with the NFL. Last year when we did NFL, it was nothing but football. <clears throat> For the most part, it's nothing but football. But there are guys who threw in hockey and did, well, quite, quite well. Huge game tonight. At least a huge spread. Our site's got it up to, at some point I saw it at 17 and a half. Between Kansas City and New England. Be interesting to see what's played there. <clears throat> and then we got Thursday. Three big games on Thursday. The traditional games and now the new NFL game. You'll have your early game, which will be Green Bay going into Detroit. Then your later game, which will be Miami going into Dallas. And then the Battle of the Horror Brawls at 8. So it'll be interesting. There will be no video from Wednesday night going into Thursday. It's not going to happen. It's probably a good chance there will be no video from Thursday going into Friday. It's a holiday. But it's a double part holiday when you're in the business I'm in because that Wednesday is the biggest party night of the year. And uh, I, I don't see a video happening. So we'll be taking two days off. We'll be back for the college football and then for the pros on Sunday. We'll see what happens. We'll do little previews of it. But there will be no video. Just so everybody knows. And we're all on the same page. Let's get it started. <clears throat> Beat my book. Had himself one heck of a Sunday. 4-1. and one, Good for 2400 bucks. As the Tennessee Titans plus the points get it done. The Bears get it done. The 49ers get it done. The Packers don't cover. But the Raiders. On the money line. Get it done. <laughs> Brian Gallo. We've been talking about this name, well, almost every night. It's usually one play and one max release. That's been his pattern. And it's working. So he goes 1-0 and out with the Miami Dolphins minus that point. And it's good for 1000 bucks. Chase Diamond goes 1-2, and two, but still comes out on top. The Titans don't get it done. The Chargers don't get it done. But the Dolphins do. So he goes 1-2, and two, and he still came out 120 bucks ahead. It's nice work. Chaz Diamond. Talking about his name quite a bit lately. Two and one. Good for 375 bucks. The Philadelphia Eagles get it done. The Washington Redskins get it done for him. This name we just cannot get away from on the winning side of things. Corey DeHill of Bookie Buster Insider. Is my cats even commenting? How about 5-1, good for $2,705. This is where it's interesting. San Jose Sharks, we got hockey action in there. The Detroit Red Wings, hockey action. Then we get the football. The Seattle Seahawks, plus the points, get it done. The Cardinals, plus the points, do not. The Detroit Lions, do. The Cincinnati Bengals, do. How about 5-1, good for $2,705, and pretty much the handicapper of Sunday, who did multiple sports on a Sunday. That was We didn't have that happen last year. Nice job. Nice job. To Corey. Guy Murphy, 3-1, good for 400 bucks. Mixed sports again. Carolina Hurricanes, under. The Bears, minus the points. The Browns, under. The Packers do not cover the number but get the game done. Jet Picks, our newest handy capper. Make sure you head on over, click their banner on their site, get on over there and see those guys. Three and three, but good for 105 bucks. They even threw in some college basketball. Some hockey. And some football. They went three and three, good for 105. Again, we come back. We've been talking about it for some time. The Bookie Buster Insider. This time, Ned Daly. Ends up 3-2, and two, good for 1000 The Chargers don't get it done. The Titans do. The Seahawks do. Tampa Bay covers. 
and the Jacksonville Jaguars do not. Three and two, good for one thousand bucks. Simon Green is next up on the winning side of things. Simon goes one and one. Must have had a push in here. Good for two hundred bucks as he had three plays. Your best pick will finish up the line for us on this wonderful Monday morning. Seven and four. It's a lot of games, but he still came out at 1,345. He took the Eagles plus the points. That'll get him a win. He took the under in the Eagles game. That'll get him a win. Now, he also took the Giants on the money line. That'll get him a loss. Talk about betting a game almost every way. Took the Titans plus the points. Took the Chargers plus the points. The Titans do it. The Chargers don't. Over in the Bears game, Falcons on the money line. It's a big number to lay to win 100. Under in the 49ers game, the Bills don't get it done. The Panthers plus the points don't get it done. The Redskins plus the points do get it done. 7-4, and four, good for 1345 bucks. So Bookie Buster Insider will be, well, what we call sort of the handicapper of the day. No video Thursday, Friday mornings. We won't be here. It's holidays. Go spend time with your families. We'll be back Saturday. Full card. College football. Best of luck betting on the sports. Uh, I think a Miami or somebody invitational tournament is for college basketball tonight. I know EA Sports is sponsoring a huge part of it during certain commercials for certain time lengths. So you can get Madden. At a 40% discount, a 20% discount, they have all this stuff going in. So if you're into watching college basketball, well, and you like playing the Xbox, this could be your night. We'll see everyone soon. The Internet's number one sports monitor. Follow us on the Twitters. Best way to get a hold of us.